Here on Ocracoke, buried somewhere beneath these decades old sand dunes, lies one of the last remnants of the hurricane of 1913. It's a shipwreck, the George W. Wells, an impressive six-masted schooner. The ship was lost on the morning of September 3rd when it faced some of the storm's fiercest winds. It ran aground here on the flooded beach of Ocracoke and a distress call went out. Rescue crews from both ends of the island responded, in some cases coming here through waist deep sand and water in the face of the howling winds of the storm. When they arrived that afternoon, they threw a lifeline on board and over the next few hours, a daring rescue ensued. By 11 o'clock that night, all 26 passengers on the ship had made it to higher ground. It said the last person off the ship was the captain, Joseph York, and as he left the wells, he carried two things. In one hand, he had a red lantern, and in the other, a St. Bernard dog that had been on board the ship. And as he took that lifeline inland, he dropped the lantern in the ocean, but held on to the dog. They both returned safely to the higher ground on Ocracoke.